It's great to see you. Thank you. You absolutely smash it in this. I want to know what was your initial thoughts when you were told, okay, you're going to be handcuffed to Tom Cruise, who has absolutely no fear of stunts at all, yeah. whilst doing a driving scene <laughs> in Italy. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I think being told is then very different to actually doing it. And there were a couple of moments where I, it was I had a couple of pinch me moments. And I remember I looked at him at some point when the camera was being set up and I just went, you're Tom Cruise. <laughs> and he went, he was like, I know, I know. And then I said to him, I said, I'm in a Tom Cruise movie. And then he went, no, I'm in a Hayley Atwell movie. Oh. And I. I loved his, he's so enthusiastic. And when someone is excited, he, he just celebrates that oh. even more, you know. And so there was that. But then there was also the understanding that literally and metaphorically, the passenger seat is not somewhere that Tom particularly likes yeah. to ever be. Why would he? Yeah, he's Tom exactly. Cruise. So to have him in the passenger seat and let me drive mm -hmm. whilst being handcuffed to him and drifting around the streets of Rome in this beautiful city, Cobble streets, it started to rain, it was quite slippery, and I was having to drift. It was, a, it was an understanding more afterwards, in hindsight, and also because when McHugh came up to me and told me, he's like, you know, he just had his life in your hands. Mm -hmm. And that's not something that he gives to people on set. Mm -hmm. that's, not, that's not normal. I, want, I, don't, I don't want you to think that what just happened was an easy thing. Yeah. And it felt very, um, it was really poignant for me, because I thought, He's, he's, we've built up trust here, yeah. where he can see my dedication to making sure that I'm a competent driver. And he's also allowing Ethan Hunt to cede power to this woman who's new. And also he's given her the platform to be the one that's in control in this moment of the sequence. And I thought that, that trust and that generosity is something that felt very, you know, really heartwarming. That's amazing that your life was literally in Tom Cruise's hands. Not a lot of people can say that. <laughs> yeah, or that his life was in my hands. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, yeah. I mean, what a way to build up trust between actors, yeah, right? Yeah, that's going to do it. <laughs> and yeah. how did you feel when you saw how many stunts you would have to be doing in this? Because you do a lot, your character goes through yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. Well, the screen test I did was not only just a chemistry read with Tom and a discussion with McHugh, but it was also a physical test. So right. Wade Eastwood took me through training of um, fight choreography and stunt work to see where my natural abilities lay and my level of fitness was. And then he would, then Tom and McHugh would come in and they'd watch it. They'd watch the final piece oh, that I put together. Okay, sure. Then the three of them would go off and then discuss based on how Wade had found working with me, realistically where he could get me up to that was also safe, yeah. where I could do this over and over again and add elements of performance to it. And so by the time that we started actual filming, I had also done, I had worked full time as a stunt person for five months. Wow. And that was in the studio every day under Wade Eastwood's uh, and Sam Eastwood's program of making me fit for purpose. So by the time that I came onto the location to do those things, I'd had a foundational work, which meant that I could just let go and add elements of performance because I was free to make those choices because I'd done all the prep for it. So not only are you in a Mission Impossible movie, but you're now going away with all these skills, right? <laughs> I know, the thing is though, it doesn't translate in everyday life. <laughs> My uh, friends and family are like, can we drive? I, honestly, they're like, we're just going to the shops. You don't, can you just, they're like, they're, like, they're like that. I'm like, oh, no, I'm doing, I'm perfectly in control, I'm having a great time. They're like, yeah, but it's, this is not, can no you just... No drifting, Haley. No drifting. And then I also remember once walking down the street and it was obviously kind of, I'd been training, I think, for about three and a half months. And I was walking down the street and I was walking my dogs to the local park. And this guy sort of walked past me, but he went, whoa. And, and I realized I must have, because I, I was, then I thought, God, what have I done? Have I scared him off? And he was like, at a distance. It wasn't, yeah. we didn't walk into each other. And I just thought, oh, you know, I think I'm walking with such, my posture's different, mm -hmm. my energy's different. And I imagine, I imagine the poor guy, see, guy seeing like a kind of, you know, being in Terminator 2 when the guy's like, have you seen this boy? <laughs> like, it was just kind of pounding down the street with such like intention as opposed to being just girl walking her dogs. And so it really changed even the way that I walked or stood. No, he probably was just like, that's Hilly <laughs> <laughs> we would all have that reaction. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, You're amazing oh, in this. You smash it. Thank you.